What is craft beer? The first thing is that it's awesome and it will make you awesome. Hey, here's a cheer for beer, sir. A cheer for good old beer. It'll be a glorious day, sir, when we get back our beer. Hey! By the international definition, craft beer is defined as three things. Independent, small and traditional. By independent, it means not owned by a public company or by a large mainstream, large scale industrial brewer. Small, it's the amount of beer that's produced on a monthly and a yearly basis. Traditional is probably the most important. It talks to the, the ingredients and the quality of the ingredients. A lot of craft brewers use extra ingredients to add flavor to their beer. So some craft brewers will add coffee or chocolate or pumpkin or something like that, but at their own expense, it makes the beer more expensive to make, but it makes for a more flavorsome beer. You're supporting the little guy because it's small and independent. Most of these brewers, the brewer is the owner, is the floor cleaner, it's all the same guy. Just pretty much living his passion. I like to say you can think while you drink because what we'll do is when I take you through the tasting of craft beer, you smell the beer, you observe the beer, you look at the color, you taste the beer, you feel the mouthfeel, and you give a natural thought about the beer. And what that does is it adds to the experience. But as I say, you're educating your palate and you're thinking about what you're doing. First thing you want to do is smell the beer because the beer has just been poured. So have a good smell. I'm picking up on the English yeast, some American hops. And to enhance the smell, I'll maybe shake it up. It increases. What I can also do is do the drive-by because that'll pick up on all flavors, and luckily there aren't any all flavors here. So everyone's doing the drive-by together. Everyone drive-by, let's go. Next thing I want to do is I want to look at the beer visually. Now, this is throwing copper because it's a copper-colored beer. It's, it's got live yeast in it as well. So you'll see the beer is not clear. It's not meant to be clear. It's got a fairly decent and consistent head, and you can't really see through the beer, but you can see the co copper color. That's exactly what we were going for, all right? Next thing you want to do is have a first taste. Picking up on a mild bitterness, slight bit of alcohol. I can taste the grain, a little bit of hops, almost a pine type of flavor coming through. Next, have another sip and think about mouthfeel. It's fairly full bodied. I'd say the, it's not a very highly attenuated beer. There's some residual sugar. I wouldn't say it's cloying, but I can feel the beer inside my mouth and it's not too carbonated. The last thing I'd do is, is I give an overall impression. Two things with overall impression, we think about style. This is an IPA. Is it bitter for an IPA? Yes, it's bitter. Has it got good head? Yes. Has it got the right color? Yes. So basically I'm going down the route that for style it's correct. The other thing is, do I enjoy this beer? I swear I drink a thousand beer and I must have lost my mind. But I'm gone out to see. I would say I do enjoy this beer, so overall I'd give it a higher rating. Cheers. Girl.